Not much is known about the prevention of the first episode of depression, but a great deal of time and effort has been spent on determining how to prevent a second. The key is to continue treatment, says Dr. Andrew Nirenberg of the Massachusetts General Hospital, a center of excellence in psychiatry. After someone gets diagnosed and gets treated and then gets better, they need to be very careful that the depression doesn't come back because if they don't have continued treatment, it tends to come back very frequently. Even though you're feeling better, studies have shown that medication and psychotherapy should continue to help prevent a relapse. The combination is critical to success. After six months, some people are still at risk and should continue treatment indefinitely. You also want to be aware of your family history. Depression does tend to run in family. So that if you have a first degree relative, that would be either a parent or a sibling or a child. Here are the other key tips. Get a good night's sleep. It's important to have a regular sleep schedule and to stick with it. Practice stress management techniques. And for those people who are exposed to these very stressful things, there's research that shows that if you have this type of genotype, that you're more likely to develop depression than if you don't have that genotype. Develop good coping skills and strong interpersonal relationships. Feeling a part of a community helps to prevent a recurrence. Have a regular exercise program. Exercise can have similar effects as the antidepressants, and there are very interesting studies that now combine antidepressants and exercise and strongly suggest that people do better if they actually do both. Take your medications. Even though you're feeling better, stay on medications that have been working until your doctor says otherwise. A lot of people have continued depressive symptoms. We call them residual symptoms. And they're the people who are at most risk of having the depression coming back. Watch your diet and limit your alcohol consumption. In terms of depression, there's some research that suggests that our diet should be richer in omega-3 fatty acids. And there's some epidemiologic evidence that strongly suggests that the decrease in omega-3 fatty acids in our diet has been correlated with an increase in the rates of depression. Green leafy vegetables contain folate as part of a healthy diet and have been shown to play a role in prevention when used in conjunction with medication and therapy. Review all of your medications with your mental health professional to be sure they're compatible. You really need to have somebody look over all of the medications that somebody's taking and all of their medical problems because medical problems also can cause depression. The key to prevention is to stick with treatment, exercise, and eat right. Take your medications in conjunction with regular therapy and you go a long way to preventing a recurrence.